So this looks at two different types of energy calculations. So the first question is, it says methane reacts with steam to produce carbon dioxide and hydrogen. The equation is given below. And if you look at the table, it says delta H naught F. That's the standard enthalpy of formations. And the question is asking you to, using the delta H naught F, the standard enthalpy of formation values, to calculate the enthalpy change of the reaction of methane with steam. Second question we're going to look at, it says enthalpy change of reaction can be determined indirectly from average bond enthalpies. And we're given a list of bonds and we're given some average bond enthalpies. Look, these are all positive. It says the equation shows the combustion of methane in the gaseous state. Use the average bond enthalpies in the table below. Calculate the enthalpy change of combustion of gaseous methanol. So these are both types of questions you get when you need to be able to use the data in the equation and come up with a number. And we'll start with this one. So it says, using delta H naught F in the table below, calculate the enthalpy changes for the reaction. So, the delta H of the reaction, when you're given delta H naught F, when you're given the enthalpy as a formation, is the sum, that just means the sum, of all of the enthalpies of the product, delta HP I'll call it, minus the sum of all the enthalpies of the reactants. Products minus reactants. If you're given delta H not F, it is products minus reactants. So what does that mean? We're just going to use the numbers in the table. So the products are carbon monoxide minus 110. Okay. That doesn't have, H2 doesn't have a, 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 a delta H not F. The standard enthalpy of formation of any element is zero. I'm going to try and keep the colours the same. So we then need to say what are the reactants. The reactants are water, so it's minus, brackets around this, minus water, minus 242, plus minus CH4, minus 75. The tricky here thing here is to keep make sure that when you're doing it, you keep your calculated values consistent. You pay attention to the minus signs. So that's minus 110 minus minus 317, which equals minus 110 plus 317. And that's that is plus 207 kilojoules per mole. So important thing is to keep the plus sign in. So keep the plus sign in because it shows it's an endothermic process. For the second one, it gives us the words bond enthalpy. And whenever we see bond enthalpy, we use a slightly different equation. So the delta H of a reaction, when you're given bond enthalpy, is the sum of the, all the enthalpies of the reactants minus the sum of all the enthalpies of the products. That might seem confusing, but there's a really easy way to remember it is if you are given the words bond enthalpy, and it has to be the words bond enthalpy. If you're given the words bond enthalpy, BE, it's reactants minus products. Burp. Bond enthalpy is reactants minus products. Everything else, delta H combustion, delta H not S is products minus reactants. Bond enthalpy is reactants minus products. This is the kind of thing you might have come up at GCSE. So we're going to look at all of the different bonds in all of the different compounds. We're going to add them up and take away and do the reaction, reactants minus products. So what bonds do we have in methanol? So we have CH, I'm just drawing this out to show me. We have an OH. We have plus one and a half. I write it big, because I need to make sure I don't forget it. O double bondo. Goes to CO2, so that's C, double bondo, double bondo, plus two water molecules, HOH. Now here's the tricky bit. 
tricky in the way it's easy to make a mistake, is when you're doing this, you need to keep a really close eye on your calculations. You need to make sure that you do this really carefully because, come across a bit, there are three CH bonds. One, two, three. So there are three CH bonds, which is worth three times 410. There is one CO bond. So that's one CO bond, which is three, three, six. There is one OH bond. And we're going to keep doing this for all of the bonds in the, in the reaction, which is plus four, six, five. And then there is one and a half times the oxygen, oxygen double bond times 500, because there is one oxygen, oxygen double bond. That's that side of the equation. There are two C double bond O's, which is therefore 2 times 805. And then how many hydrogen oxygen bonds are there in the products? There are one, two for every water molecule, and there are two water molecules. So that means there are therefore four OHs, which is four times. Four six five. Okay. So if you cross a bit, all we now need to do is add up the numbers. And if you use a calculator carefully, that adds up to two seven eight one. Add up the products, you get three four seven zero. Kilojoules per mole. These are both positive. Kilojoules per mole and kilojoules per mole. Now we use Burr bond enthalpy calculations to work out the energy change of a reaction. It's reactants minus products. So the reactants are 2, 7, 8, 1. So delta H reaction minus. 3470, which gives us an overall reaction enthalpy change of minus 689 kilojoules per mole. Does that look sensible? Well, if you burn ethanol, if you burn an alcohol, remember it's used as fuel, it gives out heat, you'd expect the surroundings to get it hot. That would mean it's an exothermic reaction. Exothermic reactions have a negative sign, so yeah, that makes sense. It looks like that number looks about right. How do you know it's about right? First of all, it's negative, and secondly, it's a few hundred. If you get massive numbers, hundreds of thousands or thousands, if you get very small numbers, tens, if you get positive numbers from an exothermic reaction, go back, check your work in. Common mistakes are forgetting to times the numbers up. So if you've got three CHs, or forgetting that it might be a one and a half in the equation and not multiplying that up properly.